what's up guys, my name is Icy and I'm playing Grand Chase. This is finally the video I've been saying I would do for a while now. It's gonna be tips and tricks on PvP and this is going to be three matches, not just one. Um, they're all gonna be three versus three and this is versus some team that I was lucky enough to find. And I don't mean mine, I mean the, <laughs> the ones I'm against. Um, cause Shields is in it, he's a pretty pro-ish Arch Ranger. And he also has a guide, like how to use Arch Ranger and other Archer classes. Which I'm gonna put the link in the description if you haven't, you know, seen it. And you can learn a lot from it. So, let's move on, let's get to learning! <laughs> Alright, so, uh, first of all, you never ever do the three bar attack or try not to I mean it's it's fun I'm not gonna say it's not but try not to do it because especially in a three versus three you need at least one bar all the time because usually how the PvP works it's kind of it's kind of weird I guess you gotta get like the hang of it I would say because if the other team casts a spell you're gonna get frozen up unless you cast a spell or one of your teammates does and you will not be able to move until you cast your spell so let's say they cast a spell you're gonna get stuck and if one of them you know one of the other team they're gonna be able to move and they're gonna be able to grab you or hit you with something or whatever so that's not that's another position you want to be in so if Let's say they cast something and you got people next to you. What you probably want to do is cast something yourself. Unless someone, you know, of your team casts something which helps you move. Um, here you can see he did a 3 bar. <laughs> but that's, that's just because the match is over. So don't take that as, uh, you know, something you want to mimic. And at this point I already knew I was dead. I'm up against three people. So, might as well, you know, have some fun, I guess. And still, you can see I survived a long time, even with three people, just because I kept using the first spell. And it's not really considered spamming, unless you do it, like, let's say, for <laughs> all the match straight. Because, you know, you're, it's pretty much the only, re the only way to stay alive against more than one person. So this this is the second match. Um, that was a failed second grab. That's why I jumped down. Never jump down. Like on a map like this, just just don't do it. Cause I'm already as a Mary, I'm already in a disadvantage on this map. Cause I can't auto. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but you're gonna have to see it pretty soon. Cause I I sadly get autoed, and it's. It's fun to watch, but not fun to be, you know, getting hit in the face a lot of times. <laughs> so, anyways, another thing you gotta watch out for is pancakes and waffles. They are very dangerous. And no, I'm just kidding. But, uh, <laughs> really what you gotta watch out for is, another thing I mean, is you can see shields is always shooting from a distance. And what that usually does... I mean, it, it's not like it's gonna kill you, but it's gonna... It's probably gonna end up killing you, but not... Yeah, that was an auto right there. But, uh... Yeah, watch out for those arrows. Try, try always to have one of your... One of the melee guys on your team aiming for the Archer. Cause it's... it's I mean, he's usually doing auto himself. Which causes him to shoot really fast. And it's not arrows that are gonna knock you down. Which is actually a problem, because you're just gonna get interrupted on whatever you're doing, which means you're gonna, you know, like get stonewalled, and you're gonna be vulnerable for anything that they want to do to you, which is not where you want to be, obviously. So this was another match, and on to the next one. Uh, this is gonna be th the last match. This match, my buddy Monkey are joined. Yay. <laughs> And I think we did a little better this time. 
but it's just the LSS is always charging and you know being aggressive. The le the liar is always um you know stun locking as much as possible. And even like in this map it's kinda the turrets aren't really that useful. So I don't think our team has much going for us. And what he did, what Shields did right there, was sliding and casting, which is something you can also do. It's quite simple. You just gotta cast before there's a slight timing, you just gotta get timing of it, and you can do it with any any skill. Just cast it before going, you know, in the air. In the air. Yeah. Before it's sliding off the ledge, you can just cast something. And you're gonna end up casting it. Uh, I think you're gonna get to cast it in the middle of the air. It's not like you're gonna cast it either at the top before you before you um, fell or after, like on the floor. I think you get you get to cast it in between, which could be very useful. And you can you know land a grab before they before they get to the ground. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this video. And you know basically just an eye on your on your mana it's pretty much like the the pv revolves around mana pretty much i would say mana and grabs <laughs> that's pretty much it and you can link grabs with mana with spells and all that so that's about it um thank you guys for watching uh see the next video is going to be about zero so i'm gonna have i'm gonna be unlocking it unlocking him first so it's gonna take a little while and i'll see you guys later